Let's talk travel right now. The Points Guy, a travel and lifestyle blog, releasing its sixth annual Best Airlines Report. Drum roll, please. Since I don't have one. Delta Airlines tops the list the fourth year in a row, followed by Southwest, United, American, and Alaska Airlines. And, of course, that's ranked based on all kinds of things, by how they treat customers, yada, yada. Uh, Nick Ewan is director of content for The Points Guy. Thanks for being with us. Uh, first, I've got to ask you about uh, the data here. What makes Delta so special? Well, it's actually a combination of things. Delta was really consistent across the board, and we looked at four overarching factors, uh, reliability, the costs and reach, the frequent flyer program, and then the travel experience, what you actually enjoy when you step on board these planes. And Delta, very consistent across the board, and that put them on top for the fourth year in a row. Southwest taking the second spot. Uh, that might not be surprising because of how affordable it is, but uh, what else was Southwest winning for? So Southwest, as you mentioned, very affordable, especially with those ancillary fees. They have no check bag fees, no change in cancellation fees. The other thing that they really excelled in was their award availability. Southwest is a revenue-based program, which means if there's a flight for sale, you can redeem your rapid rewards points for it. Obviously a big thing for us here at the Points Guys. So that was another area that they really did well in. What about frequent flyer programs? Who won there? So United was the top performer in the overall frequent flyer category. Uh, they have a lot of great things to like about the Mileage Plus program. They have the biggest variety of airline partners for both earning and redeeming. They offer four different credit cards to meet a variety of different travelers' needs. And their elite status can be really valuable. So that really pushed them to the top in that category. Do you think there was one airline that was less stressful than all the other ones? I really think over the last even couple of years, all the airlines have had their moments of stress and their moments of difficulty. We did see that spirit uh, coming at the bottom. They were the most likely to face cancellations uh, and delays. So that really was a, a struggle for them. But really every airline, I think, has uh, unfortunately had some of these operational issues. And it'll be interesting to see what happens when we pull the data for next year. Is there anybody else that you want to give us a heads up on in terms of low performance? <laughs> you know, even though Spirit is at the bottom, I will say where they earned top marks was in their affordability metrics. So if you're just trying to get somewhere as inexpensively as possible, Spirit got top marks there. Funnily enough, that was the one area that Delta really struggled in. And I think that shows that customers, at least many of them, especially readers here at the Point Sky, are willing to pay a premium to fly uh, a better product. And that's what Delta uh, really pushed them to the top. And is there anything else that you would tell us from all of the data that you guys compiled with the Department of Transportation, et cetera, for travelers, especially if they're booking a trip for maybe even the holiday? I think there's not really anything from the data that can inform future travel. The most important thing, and I've said this before, is to really be proactive and be your own best advocate. Keep an eye on your flights. Make sure that you're uh, checking to see where your inbound plane is coming from. Uh, book ahead to make sure you're trying to grab those seats before prices increase. But then pack your patience if you're traveling over the holidays, because I think we're going to see some additional uh, issues that may pop up this holiday season. Nick Ewan with the Points Guy. Thanks for being with us. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.